trying to explain uh, America's algorithm. And the first thing that it says is that we need to compare the wall until we until we found the one that it's empty. Once we found the one that it's empty, we need to compare the ball at the right. Uh, if the ball at the right is bigger, move the smaller to the empty one. Uh, then move the bigger ball to the ball that it's empty. Move the smaller one to the new empty one. And then we need to repeat steps two to six until all features are in order. So uh, we compare the ball at the right. Um, if the ball at the right is bigger, uh, we have to move the smaller to the empty one. And then move the bigger to the ball that it's now empty. Um, and move the smaller one to the empty one. And again, we need to compare the ball that it's at the right. Uh, if the ball at the right is bigger, then move the smaller to the empty one. Move the bigger to the ball that it's now empty. And then the smaller one to the, now, the one that it's empty now. And once again, uh, we need to compare the one that it's on the right. If the right is bigger, we move the smaller to the empty one. We move the bigger ball the, to the wall that it's now empty and the smaller one to the one it's empty. And another time, uh, we compare the ball at the right. If it's bigger, we move the smaller one to the empty one. Then we move the bigger one to the ball that it's now empty and the smaller to the one that it's empty. And it's done. Um, hello, this is now the same series, but with our algorithm. So our algorithm works uh, this way. First, you compare the fish or the coin in this bowl to the one on the right. <coughs> if it's bigger, if this one is bigger than this one, then you move the bigger one to the empty bowl. And after that, you move the smaller one to the new empty bowl. And to return everything to its place, you return the biggest fish that you were using to the other empty bowl and you continue. Is this one bigger than this one? Yes, so you move this one to the empty bowl and then this one over here and then you return it. And again, we have the same process. We return this over here. This keeps happening over and over. So you return it over here. And now there is a condition that says, are the fishes um, order from smaller to bigger from left to right and as we can see this is not the case so we have to move to the next bowl we were here our condition our first we, we started from here and now we're here and so we do the same thing again since this one is bigger than this one we move it to the empty this one goes to the previous bowl and this one returns this one is not bigger than this one however but what happens here we again find that we again find that there's a problem. So we're in this bowl, we're in this bowl, and then we have to repeat the process until everything is complete. So we move the bigger one to the empty one, the smallest one to the one where the previous one was, and then we return it. And that's how we have at the end the fishes, or in this case the coins, ordered from smallest to biggest, from left to right. And now we're going to process the America's algorithm, but in a different, in the reverse sequence. So, like we already explained, first you begin to comparing or finding the the bowl until you find the one that is empty. And we find that in this case, it was here last time, so now it's going to be here. And then we move to the next bowl, and then we are going to compare if this one is bigger than this one, since this bowl, since the fish in this one is bigger than this one. Then we move the smaller one to the empty and the bigger bowl. And now we move the biggest fish to the one that's empty and we return one. Now we're gonna compare again. This one 
in this case, or like we made it, is bigger than this one. And we move this one to the empty, this one to the right, and this again. This one is bigger than this one, and again, we move the smallest one, and this, and then this. This one, however, is not the bigger one, but the algorithm states that you have to repeat that until all fishes are in order. So this one is smaller, and you can skip to the next ball, but this one is bigger than this one. So now we move this one over here, this one over here, and this one over here. And we have now that the, that the algorithm is done and it's complete. And uh, to finish, we're going to run our algorithm, but with the inverse sequence. So like I was explaining, first you compare this one to the bowl at the right. Since this one is bigger than that one, you move the biggest one to the empty bowl, the smallest one to the one where the biggest one was. And then this one returns to the previous location. Then, like we stated, this one is bigger than this one. So then we move this one to the side. This one goes over here, and this one over here. Actually, right now we find that this one is bigger than this one. So we have a, a problem, but our algorithm takes that into account. So every time you have a situation like this, you move into the next bowl. And you have to begin again. This one would go over here, and this one over here. And then again, we find that there's the same problem. So we move the biggest one over here, and this one over here. And to end the algorithm, this one returns to the last spot. And as we can see, it's the sequence is done, and the fishes are ordered from left to right, from biggest to smallest, from smallest to biggest, sorry.